showdown between Bruce Lee and Dan Hendo Henderson. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! I'm round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, presenting the challenger, Dan Hendo. And now introducing the champion, out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, Understood the grappling challenge he was up against. But he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world. Especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll 
see if he can finish. Oh! Nice kick. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Big knee there. He's fixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he missed with that right hand. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Lee. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, big shot land. Anderson gets hit with a kick. Slips. Nice one, two there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Land right there, his opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Here we are, early round two. Oh, head kick attack. DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively this one. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Effective punch there by Henderson. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, yeah. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Real quick leg kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Pretty good right hand. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at the turn in that kick. Back and forth. Both of these effective straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Needs a big knee. realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Got clipped with the right hand. Well, 
he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice punch by Lee. Punch is blocked. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, wow! Oh, that's an air DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Anderson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. So, just dinks into the body. That shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Attempts the front kick there. Henderson gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, takes a perfect body shot there. He's hit. Unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Just over three minutes to go. Henderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punches in bunches, and he has a connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Visibly limping here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will. Oh! Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rubiot is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world.
All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the 